What's up, guys? Gonna make this short and sweet. Uh, I stopped at the 7 Eleven because I was looking to get some stuff to send some people. Uh, I was looking for Southern Lemon myself, they didn't have any. But I kind of have been on a dip for two days now, so I figured I'd grab a Canadian can and do a review anyway. So I'm gonna try and show you this can and get the price tag so we can see it. That's almost got it. So that says seventeen seventy nine for a can of Copenhagen Wintergreen. Bit tax twenty dollars and ten cents. Also has some other information on here. There's no fiberglass in dip because they'd have to list it in Canada. It does have lead in it though. Let's see if I can get that on there. Point zero 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 three milligrams of lead. 0 0.009 grams of nitrosamines and 24.1 milligrams of nicotine. Those are your toxic constituents. Oh, what else is on here? Oh, the bottom part is just French. More French. This product is highly addictive. I didn't get the one that says it causes cancer. That way I'm safe. Uh, the little import sticker it's just upside down from everything else of course <clears throat> and you got ooh, 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 I am not good at this Copenhagen long cut Le Debois must be wintergreen in French All right, let's crack it So it seems to crack a little easier than American can. Probably till I get that upside, yeah, till I get that upside down sticker out. So I won't go through that for nothing. All right. Let's see. Oh, it has a sell by date on it, which I don't understand because it says 2913. The 29th of what? I don't know what that freaking means. Let's see what it smells and looks like. It smells like a winter ring. It's like they, they didn't rip you off for as much here. I mean, I just don't pack it as good. I don't know. I'll try packing it again. I'll try it all. Side back. It's missing that Copenhagen. No, it's still pretty full. There's a little spot down here, but it's very little compared to the cans of Copa I buy in the States. Let's get a pinch. Oh. I'm not like having a pinch after you haven't had one for a few days. Pinchability's good. So it's like a pouch. Packing easy. Ooh, that's kind of a clash. I had this soaking them uh, peppermint mouthwash. A couple differences I noticed right away. It might be because I haven't chewed for a couple of days too, though. So that might be part of it, but I'm not getting that wintergreen burn that you usually get. Still can't spit for shit, but um, the flavor is definitely different. I find it much more mild. Actually feels like it's packing really good. I get a little bit of flavor on my tongue. No, I like it. Not twenty dollars like it, but there it is. My first Canadian review. Tow truck and dipper. Um been watching all your old videos. Some funny stuff when those kids make fun of Excuse me, mud jug and outlaw. Oh my gosh, I cry. Um, I saw the one video where you're looking for cans from fans. Definitely a fan. So if you want a Canadian can to add your collection, let me know. I'll save this one. Sign it if you want. Won't sign it if you don't want. I don't care either way. 
send it out to you. Let me know. Everybody else, have a good time. One more day and one more night till I get to open my goodies from Lizard King and Gator Fan. See you guys later.